Hey, and uh, welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. As you can see, we've got a unboxing of the Folk Wolf. If I've said that right, if I haven't, I do apologise. But it's from Hobby King. Oh, and there's the picture. So we've got one more thing. It's got a picture instead of a blank box. So anyway, um, let's get on with unboxing. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Um, I did cut open the, the bottom of the box. But it's still a bit sticky. Okay. Make sure I haven't got, and I haven't. I thought I might have another bit of tape. But as you can see, this is. Here we go. As you can see the picture. If I come a bit closer to you guys, girls, whoever. Eventually, it box will come out. I'm not going to show you just yet because I haven't even seen it. There we go. If I can get the light right without blinding you, I think it's called Folk Wolf FW190. Um, it's got some cool stuff um, in it. I will probably run through them, um, but I haven't got my goggles on, so it looks like a bunch of ants walking across a bit of paper. But uh, we can uh, we will have a look at that in a second. It's uh, well, everything will be listed below. Let's get the box off. That's what I say. Try not to hit me planes. Sorry, girls. Okay. So I think it'll be a good chance to put the goggles on. What do you think? Um, we might be able to see things a bit better. Okay. So let's get this bit of tape off. But it's good, it's not, uh, I mean it's, it's been around for quite a while this flame, but uh, by the looks of the box it's it's uh, pretty cool. Normally if it's been in the in the um, shop a long time it gets a bit discoloured, the tape, but this looks pretty fresh. Looks pretty sexy, I must admit. Okay, so what we've got, we got in here, look at this, so, you've got a nice little Hobby King screwdriver. Um, oh, this is this is great. Now I'm hoping this is for the wings. Um, we will look at this a bit closer in the build because uh, you probably can't see from here. I need to. I think I'm a bit zoomed out too much. But what the hell? They use nylon screws. You can just about see those. If not, we'll look at the build. Um, but basically, uh, a lot of people when they put their undercarriage on and also wings, they use nylon screws because if you do have a crash. Um, it normally ends up breaking these and you can just put like a little cut so it's, it makes it a weak spot so rather than bending out your wings and bits and pieces um, yeah, you just just break the screws so I've got a control horn um, and a couple of little screws in here and, and a little diddy, diddy screwdriver with a bit of heat shrink on the end to stop you from hurting yourself I like that, it's, 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 uh, it's, I like that I like that screwdriver, I don't know why, it just looks a bit chewy. Looks like a lollipop. Whose hands been round that? That's it, don't do that. Okay, so that's it. That's all that's in that little pocket, I think. Chucks it to the side. There we have the propeller in a big bag. Why do they put the propeller in a big bag? Who knows? But it's too lucky it just wants to get out the bag. Okay, it's a nice prop size. I don't know the size. Normally these props say what size is, but this is typical um, Hobby King, I suppose, stuff. I can't put little little nick on there. But I balance my props. Um, I haven't done that in a video. I've done a lot of things in videos, but I do balance my prop. In fact, my prop balancer is here. My prop balancer. I've not tried a tripod. Oh, that's breaking it now. They keep coming off. I've not tried three props. I think I've probably need a bit of a bigger one, but uh, I haven't painted the edges either. Hmm. It's a nice prop. Okay. What have we got here? What have we got here? Nicely bubble wrapped. It looks like the vertical stabiliser or verti yes, the vertical stabiliser that has. Does elevators. I'm just making sure that it did. There you go. Not a bad paint job. 
zoom in there. I have, a, I have an elevator. Ooh, 3D. Ah, right, that's where the other control horn is. Now, I can only believe that they've left out a control horn so this can slide into the fuselage. Paint is pretty nice. It's a pretty good job, actually. So, say we'll, we'll crack these. Now, once again, it's a bit like the J3. They have big, thick elevators. And, you know, with the speed of the plane, you, you think that it'd be a bit longer and... And, and thinner, but hey ho, but you know, as per usual, what we do, and number five written on there, don't I? As you do, we, we stretch them out, see what's going on. Right, these don't look like they've got nice plastic inserts to, to strengthen the, um, strengthen the elevator, like, you know, in J3, it's even got nice little plastic inserts. So, you know, it's always good that inside there, maybe, you get a bit of blend them. We know I like blend them. A bit of blend them in there, um, that keeps it a bit more strength. But yeah, I mean that's pretty, pretty, pretty level. It's not bad. A bit of overspray, but you know, it's okay. Oh, nice. This is the wing. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. And the dog's on a mad one. I've actually got the hangar door open today. Um, so you probably hear my dog flying up and down the uh, walkway because it's hot in here. I need a, a big fan. So anyway, let's get this open. Pretty well packed up again. That is a lot of cables. And you see that big bunch of cables there. Once again, it's nice paint work. Of course, the retractable undercarriage and. Uh, I like this, but they, they put, I like this, even though this is a bit unsticky, but you know, we can sort that out. Um, is that they put tape, tape across the cables. I do like that. They put color tape across the tape cables to hide all the cables for your servos. This has got, um, it's got uh, flaps, so speed flaps, and obviously your ailerons, which, uh, yeah, they haven't got plastic inserts either. We'll have to have a look. And of course the retractable landing gear. It looks a bit okay. It looks like it will... We'll have a little play with that. I mean, it looks not too bad, actually. Um, yeah, let's have a look if you want to have a look there a bit closer. We'll have, a, we'll have another closer look. But these are the, the dual, uh, a dual servo. So it actually it does uh, two at once rather than having two separates. It's a dual, so it's got two horns go down at the same time that open the retra uh, retract landing gear. So that's a lot of cables to go through a hole, but that's okay. We've got the flaps, ailerons, uh, gear, and LEDs. Yes, yes, I remember seeing now these have got your green LED and your red LED. Part, well, I didn't know the plane terminology, I know the boat per, uh, terminology, port and starboard. I presume it's the same as the plane. Uh, if you, as you can see here, it looks like, you know, a bit of a shame actually. Mm, yeah. If you look on here and look on here, it looks like someone's been using it as a frisbee. Can You, you can see that actually, because I can see it in the monitor. Yeah, it looks like someone's been sitting on it or using it as something like a Star Wars weapon or something in the shop. Hopper King again. You know, and obviously the wings as well. If you look at the wings, they don't meet up properly there. And if you can see that in there, yeah, just here. But it might go in okay. It's got the plastic to, that butts into the aeroplane. That's a shame. I'm really looking for a perfect plane from Hobby King. You know, at the end of the day, money's money. You know, I mean, Hobby King do 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 returns. Um, and I've got to send back one of my batteries that I bought that uh, needs to be returned. It's not holding the charge, it, it's a bit weird. But that, I could send it back. There's dents in that, you know, but I don't know. I mean, they get you like that, didn't they? You're so, you know, into it. Anyway, the, the, this is a plane that was, uh, that was basically at the beginning of the Second World War, the real uh, FW-190 was a bit of a stand up to the Spitfire in the early days. Um, it held its own against the Spit, um, but that was when the Spit had its uh, 
carburetor float problems I think it was that and I'm trying to think of the lady's name now that, that designed uh, a way to get round it and I can't remember her name sorry I mean she's you know passed on now but if it wasn't for her the Spitfire wouldn't maybe not have been as good as it was but until it had that uh, wasn't inject I think it injection in the end it, it had but the German planes were already injection uh, but we didn't we had uh, the old carburetor that when you flew upside down it flooded the engine um, in fact if you look on if you watch the Battle of Britain and you see uh, a Spitfire do a roll watch well, certainly this because I saw this and I questioned what that was I thought it was yeah but if it had done a roll and as it does the roll uh, black smoke comes out of it and you hear the engine drop out yeah I've got my Spitfire up there um, she's beautiful um, Mm. Okay, right, so that's the wing. So, pretty sad, Hobby King, once again, sending me dodgy shit. Did I just swear? I'm sorry. Okay, right, so that looks like. Oh, but deep down in here, we've got a spinner for the prop. Um, yeah, that looks nice. It's, got, it's already got the Allen key in the end there. So it holds it in. That looks pretty cool, and I reckon that makes a nice sound going uh, going round. You know, I was just saying this is another thing. You know, I, I bought a plane because I just love buying planes. Uh, probably because I used to love making them as a kid. Um, but uh, I will fly this eventually, as soon as the I can fly on my own, which I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to do fly once a week if I can, if the weather holds out. Even maybe uh, in the evenings if I'm in the office. But. Um, not sure what it is. But. Hey, that is the uh, spinner for the propeller, which is pretty cool. So this doesn't look like there's a lot to go together with this, which is pretty cool, really. Um, yeah. So here we have. Yeah, this is this is sexy. I do love it. I do love when I bring out the fuselage. You know, it is the main thing. And I believe that's all of it, actually. In yeah, so you know, Hobby King, which is, is a good thing, saving the planet, no instructions. We'll have a look online at the PDF to see what uh, how good they are. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I mean, this is self relevant, I mean, not a lot to put together. So let's uh, let's get this bad boy out of here. Uh, let's get this big white plastic foam thing out of the way. I mean, maybe they can try and. It's going to hit the camera. So maybe they can try and get away with using foam. I don't know what else you'd use. Look at this sexy, sexy, sexy fuselage. And even look, Commander Schmidt in the aeroplane. I've just named him Schmidt because I like that name. I do like the German language actually. Probably wouldn't have in the in the second world war. Okay, we've got a bit of a scratch or a decal. It looks like the decal, someone's put it on. Hey, you can see that little scratch in it. It's about there. You can see that. Someone's put the decal off. And yeah, it looks like um, someone's it's got a bit hungry while they're building the plane. Yeah, I don't know if you can see here. I don't know if it'll zoom in, but yeah, it's a hangar rash going on before it's even in the hangar <sighs> but you know it looks pretty solid in there I like the motor I like the housing so when the old prop will be on there that will look pretty sexy now the good thing I do like about this plane um, is the actual how you get the battery out now I should put this a bit lower actually but it's, you open a little catch and apparently voila there is where the battery goes in there if you can see it not going too mad because we'll do a bit of madness in the actual build not that it's going to be lots of videos it will be a couple of videos by the looks of this and you've got the rudder elevator now 
all them cables from the wing fitting up into here doesn't leave a lot to be honest for a transmitter hmm. it kind of gives all this sexiness of hatch openings and that and yeah but we'll, we'll figure that out it's not a big deal you know I mean this was still what 100 and 120 quid, 120 pounds. 120 pounds. I expected it not to have bruises on it. I must admit. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's hard about putting the plane in a box that's mind the dog again. <laughs> oh no, she's coming to investigate. So yeah, you have a bit of dog action. Um, yeah, hobby gang. What the hell? You probably don't see this, and if you do, you don't care. I don't know. I've actually done a hobby on Hobby King it's a hunt out 10 Easter eggs. It took me ages to find all the Easter eggs. I sent it off in an email as they asked. You know what? They didn't even send an email back saying we put you in the drawer. Yeah. Almost as bad as curries. Did I say that out loud? Okay, so um yep, so we've got the fake LED at the back of the tail. Um but uh that looks pretty cool. Once again, it's very chunky. I mean, it's, it's very badly put together here. It's very rough and ready. I mean, to be honest, you know, Hobby King, you know, yes, okay, I'm only paying 120 bucks, but there's other planes out there from other companies at the same sort of price that you get good quality. It's my own fault for that from punishment. But I did want this plane. Um, I did want it, so I've got like a nice German plane against my nice... RAF plane. Um, obviously, Spitfire. Love my Spitfires. Spitfires? Spitfire. Uh, once again, as you can see here, I mean, you've got to make sure this is 50%. It's a bit. Uh, now, the. the uh, you get these little plastic things in here, if I can do a show there. That hold the rods that, that that control the servos and that. Now, if you look in here, they're a bit flippy flappy. So, whether that's going to make a difference? Yeah, I mean that's a t so you know that's so. I'm trying to think why I've got one, two. Why have I got two? Ah, it's for the wheel. So the wheel turns as well as the uh, as well as the rudder. So, but yeah. So I mean, I must admit, my excitement suddenly went from 100% to not a lot of percent, really, to be honest. You know, bad paintwork on the bottom there. Looks like they put it down to spray, and it's stuck to something. I've definitely. What is with me and a Friday aeroplanes? Now, obviously, Poppy King do offer a return policy which means you can just return the um, whatever you buy no fuss just I don't know how they whether they pick it up or whatever else but you know it's like you get something you know you, you, you want it you want it you know otherwise why buy it in the first place so every time you send it back and get it back you know you, hmm. but it's not that bad I mean I'm, I'm picking up I mean you know I'm trying to you know do an honest an honest unboxing you know I don't work for Hobby King so I don't have to give to you I don't have to open six boxes until I find one that's perfect. Um, but she, she's nice, so you get the pilot in it, which is great. I mean, it looks a bit squished up in there, you could be sitting back a bit, but you know, maybe they flew like that. Maybe he's, he's eyeing up my Spitfire. But you know, I mean, okay, it might be a bit of battle damage. I mean, I'm sure by the time I finish flying this, it's going to have plenty of battle damage. But I mean, this is why I look at some of these foamies, is that this is for me to, to learn to fly. Um, you know, I've got my beautiful Red Arrows Hawk here that uh, that when I'm a bit more professional I can fly that and that was made very well um, that, but that was an FMS, I do like the FMS models they, they are really really cool and this one as well the Tiger Cat which is, you know, I mean I don't know if you can see, you can see it yeah. I mean it's the detail and this have got rivets and it's it's pretty bugger, I mean okay the, the one of the nose landing gear um i don't know what you call them flaps <laughs> um was broke but that you know that could be fixed you know but you know 
Okay, that's a, that was a lot of money, so really I should have expected that to be pristine. I don't know what it is with people these days, you know? I mean, would you sell a car? It's all sort of got a scratch, you know? Oh, don't worry about that, you know? Or oh, it's got a dent here. Oh, don't worry about that, that's fine. So, I don't know, you know, the people that do the quick QS on here, Mr. QC1, which is quality insurance or quality whatever C is down for, um, Mr. Maybe that's his name, but QC1, you know, you're fired. <laughs> yeah. So, that is the uh, unboxing of the Falkworth um, FW190. Um, it, it's, it's a great and sexy plane. I mean, I'm sure you agree. You know, once uh, you know, once we get the old, uh, once we get all the wings on. Um, so I'm just looking in so I can see, but I don't necessarily. I don't have the biggest, but you know, once the wings are on, oh, hit the plane again. That looks pretty cool, don't you think? I think so. Be interesting to see how it goes together. Which will obviously be in the next video. Um, yeah. So until then. Keep safe and keep flying. See you later.